I'd like to guide you through a practice where we are going to be using three sacred vowel sounds in order to feel the vibration in different parts of your body. Sacred vowel sounds have been used for thousands of years, and this is because they are very rich in the overtones and the resonances that we talked about in the last couple videos. And those overtones and resonances suffuse through your entire being, waking up every cell, every molecule of your body, and literally rearranging them because sound can transform and reform matter. The sound of your own voice is very heart opening as well and can help aid in your connection with your divine aspect. I'm going to be using my singing bowls to support you in this practice and I'll also be toning along with you. You do not have to match my pitch if you don't wish. You can find a comfortable pitch of your own. Again, this is not about singing. It's really just about sounding with intention. This is an exercise for deeper listening, feeling and sensing into your body of feeling the sound vibrating in your body. First, we're going to be using the breath to bring your attention deep into your body. We will be using a hand mudra actually from the practice of Qigong. So you're going to be facing your palms away from you, and then you're going to fit your thumbs together like this. And then you're just going to bring your hands right down below your belly button. And that area is called the Dantian, which is loosely translated into your energy center of your body. So with your hands on your Dantian space, just take a nice, relaxed, deep breath into that Dantian belly space. <sighs> now try to relax your belly. Let the breath just drop right in. Let's do that again. Inhale. Nice. And then just exhale it out either through your nose or through your mouth. Feel the depth in your belly. Let's try that again. Nice big inhale into your belly. You're going to be feeling your belly expanding into your hands. And exhale. Inhale again into your belly. Allow the space to open up into your belly and exhale. And yes, please close your eyes because you'll be able to get a deeper expression of your breath. In the first vowel sound that we're going to be toning is the vowel sound uh, U-H. That's a very deep root chakra sound. And I'm going to be demonstrating that for you first. Again, you do not have to match my pitch. Find your own comfortable pitch. And I do like to close my eyes because I feel that it deepens the experience. And see if you can feel that vibration in your belly because your hands are going to be in that Dantian position right below your belly button. Okay, here we go three times. Nice deep breath. Again.
you may not have been able to have felt that vibration that deep in your body at this point. But if you will keep practicing, you will start to sense it deeper and deeper each time. The second vowel sound we will be toning is the vowel ah for the heart chakra. We're going to use that same hand mudra, only this time we're going to be putting it over your heart. And I do like to shift the pitch as I am going through the vowel sequence. You may want to as well, but you can also stay on the same pitch. It's entirely up to you. So I'll demonstrate the sound first. Ah. Again, feel free to stay on a lower pitch. Let's start again with those three breaths into your heart space. I think that's very helpful for awareness. Just close your eyes and deeply breathe with your hands over your heart and take a nice inhale and exhale. Feel the expansion in your heart. Inhale. Feel the warmth of your heart and exhale. Inhale. Open your heart space and exhale. Good. So let's begin with the toning. Inhale. Ah. Again. Ah. Again. You may have felt a lightness when you were chanting or perhaps felt the vibrations in your chest through your hands. Certainly when I have my hand on my chest, I can feel my voice vibrating against the sternum, which is a big bone here in your chest. And remember when we talked about resonance, well, the vibrations also resonate in your whole chest cavity too, uh, as low even as your back and your belly, uh, which we're trying to discover today. The third vowel sound we're going to be toning is E for the crown chakra. And for this one, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You're going to be flipping your ears forward with your hands. And this is going to have the net effect of actually bringing your sound forward in your experience. And you'll probably be able to hear your voice a little bit more clearly, more like others hear you actually. So let's try it first. I'll show you. You're just going to make your cups, little cups out of your hands. And then you're just going to put that behind your ears like this. Can you see? Like you're trying to, huh? <laughs> like you're trying to hear something better, right? So with your hands in that position, why don't you start making some sounds? Just some funny sounds, anything. Uh, just speak like, hey, let's try it. Let's make some sounds while we have our hands cupped behind our ears. And you'll notice that your voice probably sounds a lot louder probably a lot cleaner and clearer as well. And as before, I will demonstrate the eval. E to do some breathing first. So I'm going to have you put your hand on top of your head to get a sense of that space, that crown chakra. So we're going to do three breaths in. Inhale. 
hold a bit and exhale. Inhale again. Put your attention on top of your head and exhale. Inhale again. Feel the expansion of your crown chakra, the top of your head, and exhale. Good. Now get your hands ready in that cup position and bring your ears forward and cup your ears. We're getting ready. Take a nice deep breath. How did that feel for you? Was it different? It probably was a little bit different, right? The sound was bigger somehow. I encourage you to experiment. Have a great time. Use different vowel sounds. Put your hands in different parts of your body. Make different types of sounds too. Moans, groans, grunts, yells, anything like that is fine you're going to find that the more you can allow yourself to make different sounds like you did when you were a child, the more you stretch your voice to do more than you think it can do and just allow without the judgment, that will stretch and expand your idea of who you think you are. We identify ourselves with our voice so what your voice does, your brain, your body, and your mind will follow. Hey.